final act for this evening is our alumni speaker. Um, Dan is someone near and dear to my heart. He was instrumental, and I don't know if he realizes this, but he was so instrumental in us looking at inclusivity at Holy Cross in a different way and more actively incorporating inclusivity into our mission, which I think is like a deep part of what it means to be a Holy Cross school and a Holy Cross, um, yeah, just parish. Additionally, not only did Dan consistently make me laugh on a daily basis, but I credit Dan often as one of my biggest influences in making me a better educator. So let's please welcome our alumni speaker, a graduate of the class of 2020, Dan Zavage. Um, so first, um, I just want to dedicate this speech to the, ho to the Holy Cross family. Uh, can you say it out there? And to my family. I can you explain the Holy Cross without them? They supported me throughout the years. School after school after school. I can't let them anymore. And thank you to everybody who has come here tonight. Okay. Um, good evening. My name is Dan Zavage. And I am a 2020 graduate of Holy Cross middle school. I am so happy to be here and talk with you all about my time at Holy Cross and how important Holy Cross is to me. Um, first, thank you to Ms. Julie Johnson for making this event possible and for letting me speak here. I can't do without her. Um, Catholic education is so important. I first participated in as many Holy Cross activities as I could, except when Mr. Davis, my science teacher, went out to Dr. Cowai. in the church hall. So, for that activity, I couldn't bring, bring myself to the hall. Um, it kind of made me sick. But one of the things that I did thoroughly that I did fully participate in, in love. I, while I was at Holy Cross, was the speech competition. It just so happens that the speech I memorized at that time is perfect for this evening. It was from Marianne Williamson, and it perfectly shows what my summer Holy Cross was like. Miss Williamson said, Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Father Mark would always celebrate Mass. And every class participate in Mass families. Our Mass prayer and intentions will always united together and brought us closer to God as a community. And our combined prayer and faith in Jesus makes us a powerful 
and faithful community. I also greatly appreciated the lollipop lady passing out suckers to us at the mass was over in your genuflected. I'll continue my prayer life at Central Catholic High School as a member of the Student Liturgical Ministry. Williamson continues. It was our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, content, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? Miss Grismacher, the seventh grade language arts teacher, worked hard to find out our talents and make them shine brighter in all of us. In a great language arts classroom, um, you could read and write at your desk or at her desk. She called my office. Um, as long as you were working. She saw how we were all brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous. And she celebrated it by helping everybody to become great readers and thinkers. Also, I have Mr. Tagoya for language arts in eighth grade. He also taught us so many things. I especially remember when you taught us the novel called To Kill a Mockingbird. That was a really great book, and I learned so much about literature when we read it. Also, you are a very fun teacher. I remember one day toward the end of the school year when you let us go outside to play on the park instead of having class. I will always remember that. Um, I did also learn so much from Miss Terry K. Johnson, especially math. She taught me so many things about math. Yeah, you know, she always made it fun with games and jokes. I felt truly brilliant and talented when I allowed to the class. And it is because of the classes of all the teachers, like Miss Gritzmacher, Mr. Tukwoda, Miss Johnson, Mr. Davis, and Mr. Walsh, and everybody else. Next, William said, said as uh, you are a child of God, your playing small doesn't serve the world. This applies to my time at Holy Cross playing basketball with Coach Kale and Annie. And Coach Annie. They are really great coaches. We hustled, we played big. Coach Gary always made us hustle from the ball and would tell us if it wins a ball game. I really like Coach Gary and Annie. Next, Marianne Williamson's words say We were born to make manifest the glory of God. That isn't in us. It's not just in some of us. It's in everyone. At Holy Cross, we also volunteered each year. During seventh grade, my whole class visited Randall Children's Hospital to meet medically fragile children. We would read and visit once a month. This helped us to see the glory of God who was in every single one of us. 
Finally, Mary Ann Williamson said, and do that at my own night time, you consciously give other people permission to do the same. Since I've left Holy Cross, I'm trying my best to let my own light shine. Holy Cross's love and support helped me to know how to let my own light shine. Um, for example, I got to go to Central Catholic High School and become part of that fabulous school. At Central Catholic, I got to share my faith with all of the students there by being a member of the student liturgical ministry. I have been able to represent Central Catholic to new students as a real ambassador. Also, I got to play sports like football and track and field. This spring, I will graduate from Central Catholic. After I graduate from Central Catholic, next fall, I will get the chance to go to college at Benedictine College in Kansas. It is such a blessing to be able to go to college, and I am so excited for this wonderful opportunity. Not all this when it has been possible without Holy Cross. To conclude my comments tonight, I just want everyone to know what a great school Holy Cross is. I have Holy Cross Catholic School to thank for so many things. Holy Cross taught me math, language arts, religion, and basketball. But most importantly, Holy Cross welcomed me and taught me how to serve and how to be a faithful Catholic and to be the best version of myself I could be. I know God has a great plan for my life. I'm so thankful that Holy Cross was a part of it. And I hope more and more kids can continue to attend to Holy Cross. Thank you so much, and thank you for your attendance here tonight.